this is the, the brain of the system. Uh, basically, uh, it controls all of the keypads and the scheduler functions that are set up. Um, the front buttons, I have not programmed anything uh, in them. The bottom buttons are the, uh, the ones that you select below it. This is not a, a touch screen out here. Um, on this unit, basically the only thing that you would ever really need to do is to possibly change the scheduler. Mm -hmm. um, to change the schedule, there's a button that says time clock. You hit time clock and it brings up the schedule. I have set the schedules in there. Um, the daily 6 a.m. and daily sunset, um, those schedules in there are the schedules for the interior. Um, the daily sunset and daily sunrise, those are your exterior schedules. Uh, the naming on the side is what the CAN program does. There really is no way to change it beyond that. Uh, the last two schedules in there are the schedules for the keypad lockout. Um, the engineer wanted the ability that when the internal uh, interior schedule is running, um, the keypads are locked out and nobody can turn the lights off of somebody in the bathroom. Um, I was here late last night and there is a sufficient amount of um, uh, emergency lighting in the system so it's not a big deal. Um, these two relays on the side, uh, like I said in the other video, these, be these relays are the contacts from the BMS system. Uh, the BMS guy has labeled them, this is your exterior lights, these are your interior lights. When the pilot light is on, uh, that means that the relay is engaged or it's getting a signal from the BMS system. Um, the BMS system has, uh, has an override, I don't know, of the time clock schedule of the BMS. Um, but if they had an event that ran longer, the, whoever controls the BMS has the ability to change it. Um, to change a schedule on a time clock, pick one here, we'll pick the start of the day. Um, there's a button that says edit. You select edit and it's basically what do you want to do. So I want the schedule to occur on weekdays and, and weekends. I hit next. And how do I want the clock time? Standard clock is anything that's a timed event. There's also sunrise and sunset and those are, you can modify those. So we'll leave them as standard. Um, the next thing I ask is what time do you want the event to occur? Um, the clock is based in uh, a 12 hour increments. Um, after you set that, it's next. And then it said, what do you want to do? So I want to turn the lights on or off, or I want to affect the lights. And then lastly are the loads. Um, the uh, electrical contract will provide what loads are what. Basically the way it's set up is that load one and two uh, are my interior loads, loads three and four are my exterior loads. As you can see in here, so this is a 6 a.m. event, at 6 a.m. I want the lights to go on. So you can see that I want load one and load two to go on. And then to get to my other loads, there's only seven loads in the system, so as you scroll down, you get to seven, and as you turn the wheel, you can't go anymore. So the rest of these are all in here, so those are all set to go on. Once you've set everything how you want it, you can turn everything on, everything off, you want to do it that way. You just say okay, it'll save it. After it saves, it'll exit back out. It'll take you back to the main screen. When you get to the main screen, hit exit again, it'll save it one more time. The schedule does not take place till you get all the way back to the main screen because basically the program inside is writing the actual change that you've made to the system itself. Um, if you find that the schedule is not occurring at the right time, just double check the date and time on the front of it. This is the time that's actually inside of the processor. Um, the processor does have an astronomical clock in it, so it is set up for uh, this location. So as sunrise and sunset changes based upon the time of year, it will automatically update that. Um, down at the bottom corner of the V, what that actually is, is that's the version of the program that's running inside of the system. Um, the setup button is for field setup, and that basically sets up your location, uh, state, and city. Um, and then that's really all there is there. It shouldn't have to be anything in there that should be changed. Um, there is, uh, the home button will take you obviously back to the opening screen, back will take you back. If you get into something, you're not sure, you hit cancel, it'll not save any of your changes, it'll take you back. And then help will also explain different parts of the system as well. That's it for that.